I'm gonna show you how to list multiple positions at the same company on your LinkedIn profile so all the positions are neatly stacked under the same company. It's super easy and I'm gonna show you on the profile of Patrice Lebleu, who's this quirky character who occasionally shows up in my videos, including my video about how to beef up your LinkedIn profile so you get more views and get more business. So stick till the end of this video to check out that video. Okay, so back to stacking positions, you'll be able to do this as long as the end date of the first position you held is within one month of the start date of the second second position you held. Let's say you end your first position at your company in March and start your new position in April. That's totally fine. But if you start your new position six months later in September, LinkedIn is going to treat them as separate listings. Okay, so let's say that Patrice worked for Delaware Valley Counseling Services, which is a company I literally just made up for this video. And we want to show on LinkedIn that she worked there as an intern from January 1995 to March 2000 and became a licensed professional counselor there in April 2000 and stayed there for 10 years. So so first scroll down the profile till you get to the experience section. We're gonna start by adding her position as an intern. So we're gonna click on the plus symbol, then click on add position. Now before you fill out all the job information below, pay attention to the notify network toggle at the top. Now if what you're filling out is a brand new position at your current company and you want everyone in the world to know, then definitely keep it toggled on, otherwise turn it off. Okay, so we're gonna add the title, intern. The employment type is optional and we're gonna skip it for this video. Company name, Delaware Valley Counseling Services, location, fill Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She's not currently working in this role, so I'm going to uncheck this box. Now we're gonna put the start and end dates for the position. Now, please, please, please be sure to add the description. A lot of people skip this step and it's a really important step. On LinkedIn, more is more. And the more you fill out your profile, the more people will get to know you and like you and trust you and wanna work with you. Now, that said, if you're filling this out for a past position at a previous company, you only need one or two lines of text, especially if you're on LinkedIn for marketing purposes, because really you wanna call attention to not what you did in the past, but what you're doing now. Now, you'll see that LinkedIn is also encouraging you to add skills skills related to this position. But I want you to be super careful about how many skills you add and which ones you choose. There's a whole strategy behind it. And I also cover that in my LinkedIn profiles video. And again, I'll give you the link at the end. You'll see you can also add media like website links and images and PowerPoint presentations. So just be aware that you can do all of that too. So once you're done here and you have the first position added, click on save and you'll see now we have the first position here on the profile. And now we need to add the second position, but we want to make sure we do it in a way that it stacks under the first position. So when you're back on your profile, click on the plus sign again and add position again. Now we're going to add the position licensed professional counselor. That was Patrice's second position. And then go down to where it says company name. And here's the clincher. You must spell the company name exactly the same way for both positions or else it won't take. LinkedIn is not smart enough to figure out if the spellings are slightly different that it's the same company. Or if you're picking your company from a drop down menu, which will happen if your company already has a LinkedIn company page and you'll see some drop down options here, then obviously make sure you're picking the same company from the drop down menu. Now fill out the location for this particular position and the start and end dates. And remember to please fill out the description and then press save. Now you'll see both positions here at the same company neatly stacked. Now, of course, this is just one piece of the bigger puzzle on how to create an amazing LinkedIn profile. So definitely check out this video in the top right corner. I show you how to create a profile that really wows people, that gets their attention and helps you attract your ideal customers. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.